Morning Minecraft, and welcome to episode 4 of the Mega Man Cave Season 2. And today we're going to do a little something about the power generation. Uh, I mean, I'm alright for now, but I've burned through a lot of coal. And so we're going to do something a bit different. Last time we went with solar panels. Well, as you see up there, we are underneath a lake so what we're probably gonna wind up doing is moving this stuff over here and we're also gonna be getting ready to start uh, with some sort of storage because as you see been mining quite a bit and it's been fairly fruitful and we're running out of storage space let's see do we got anything oh, let's go ahead and get this coal out of here But yeah, and for the moment, I took down my advanced crafting, my, my crafting table three. Because uh, we're going to get ready to move all this anyways. But first thing we need to do is make some more water mills. As you see here, I've got that. And a water mill, you just, oh, I'm going to need some more sticks. So let's get this made. Alright, uh, I'm going to need more log, or more planks as well. Alright, so we got one, two, three, four. Yeah, because we got four generators there. We're going to plop those in the middle. And then put sticks in the corner. Just like that. And then let's take o take the leftovers. All right now we got 12 water mills. Now I'll probably wind up having to get more cable. But like I said, we're gonna move all this st stuff here or here. But right now I've got it doing some work to drain out what's in the bat box. So first thing, well, let's go ahead and go to sleep since it's nighttime up there. As you can see on on the mini map there, I got a uh, waypoint set here. I moved it down here just to see exactly where it was going to fall and it fall, fell right about where I thought it would. So let's go up here. Okay, that's someplace else. Sounds like we might have some visitors. As you can see, I started prepping this a little bit already. Oh yeah, it looks like we got a visitor up here. Oh. Yeah, let's get rid of these. this skeleton. Ooh. No, 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 no. You can get rid of you too. I don't, you're friendly, but I don't care. Alrighty. Now we got that cleared out. Like I said, I started prepping it a little bit. Uh, got it laid out. These water mills, they operate, uh, three by threes uh, three by three grid uh, pretend these are the water mills and they can share water I uh, set this up here just to make sure that I could run this and it would hold back the water just to keep the design so let's go ahead and now I'm not sure if it requires the space underneath to be empty but we will take that out as soon as I get done placing all these Do it from up here a little bit quicker. And I'm loving this drill. Oh, my backpack is just about empty. Alright, now if I counted this out right. and one more all right now I don't think it matters what cable we use but just because it's a bit cheaper and I'm a bit low on rubber I'm gonna use uh, this tin cabling oh, oh. and run it across like so now once this starts working 
Got to be careful not to touch these. Ugh. Because I, I, I think you can get shocked from these things. And then like this. Like this. Like this. Yeah, we ran. Oh, nope. Like that. And then this one has to run this way. That's why I have the... Like that, like this, like that, and then like so. Now, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure that they should now technically be ready to produce power. All we gotta do is get them down, get it down to where Hmm. Hmm. Didn't think that through. Drop down here. I probably have more than enough. Since I decided to bring it this way instead of keeping it where I have it. Ah, yes. Plenty. Um. Alrighty. And we will bring this down just like so. Uh, let's see. Is this empty? Let's go ahead and drain it the rest of the way. Get this stuff out of here. We are just going to put the rest of this in our backpack. Now comes the tricky bit. Got to move all this stuff. So I'm not going to sit here and do this all on camera. I'm going to move temporarily move these uh, this stuff out of the way and I'll probably be starting off with I'm thinking iron chests. Well, let's see. Uh let's see cuz I believe gold yeah you need at least the iron to start off with. I mean I could start off with copper but we might as well start with the iron. Cars, no, not refined iron. Yeah, we can just use iron ingots. All right, so I'll be back when I get this stuff all moved. And I'm lagging. There we go. All right. So I had to redesign this a little bit. I mean, just rerun it. Uh, I had to move a battery box up. Move the battery box up here because it just these things just didn't have the oomph to transfer it through the copper cable. Uh, all the way down so I wound up actually making a second battery box so I'm probably getting another piece there and this actually will help out because then I can turn also double the production on this and put some uh, solar power or yeah put some solar power up here as well which will help out now this thing is taking all the input from here and outputting it down to my other battery box which I have down here I came up here to uh, and I ran into some skeletons, so I took some damage. Didn't have no food on me because I moved everything into these chests. Let's go ahead and take this up. All right. So as you see, I got the other battery box here, nice and charged up. Uh, and I believe once this one gets full, that other battery box will also fill up, which will give me twice the amount of power, which is cool. Plus, I have a furnace to go here. Now, we got to place down. See, I don't know if it's a bad thing if I put it here because it would be connected to that. I might wind up moving the power pipe over 
And this might not be its permanent home exactly looking like this until I get it all prettied up. But until I get it all prettied up, we're just going to place these down like so. And there we go. All ready to use. And got bunches and bunches of power. I mean, it's kind of slow. Like I said, they're not the most efficient thing. But, like I said, it'll fill this battery box up. And once this is full, it'll fill that battery box up there. And I'll have two battery boxes full. So I'll be able to run these things. Now, I got... I made... F I think I made more than four. Uh, where's the rest of them? Yeah, I got like eight of them. Because I just turned all of these... The pretty much all the chests I had, or almost all of them, I might have a few extras laying around here, into iron chests. Oh, there's my axe. But anyways, yeah. So that now we need to come up with storage. Uh, as a matter of fact, we need to fill this in. And I went ahead and made me an electric wrench. You can see it's thing right like that. I mean, I just took my regular wrench, electric circuit, and an RE battery. Not a big deal. As a matter of fact, my bat pack is getting a little low. So let's get this thing charged. Alright, now we might need to figure out something for storage. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys this. This is something else. This is the reason why I decided to make this. I'm going to do the half slab steps all the way up so... And it dog legs over. I need to fill in some. I got some dark space. I got some space back here that I'll probably have to fill in. But I got torches back there, so it's not a big deal. And then same thing on up here. Oh, lag spike. Minecraft is probably getting full on me. Let's put this thing away. And then on up here. Now, I did set me up a little farm here, just so that way I have some wheat to grow. Had to, I went over to the volcano and grabbed me some basalt rock, because I'm thinking I'm going to want to use some basalt in the design of the man cave. Yeah, and I think once I put some solar panels on there, it'll look pretty nice. Then I got my little uh, cactus and reed farm over here going fairly nicely. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and restart my client. And I will be back in a little bit. Alright, and we're back. And as you see, I didn't, I should have thought about that. But as you see, we built the storage room. This isn't, isn't the finished look. You're just sort of getting a glimpse into my building pr uh, process here. Uh, this is actually going to be my storage and crafting room. Uh, got a very nice plan for the crafting. And these here are the shelf mod that uh, the guy who makes uh, Mod Loader does. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't understand mod items like I don't even think it'll understand that no see it any of the mod items it just puts a default thing in there but I have come up with a, a solution we got my we got your we got our gems and dusts uh, and obsidian uh, we got all our ores redstone and uh, red power related uh, woods cobblestone dirt sand and gravel this is uh bio non uh food 
So anything that's not food that uh, grows besides trees goes in here. Uh, this is temporarily food storage. Uh, I am going to build a house up on the top there and put a kitchen in it, and that's where all the foodstuffs will go. Uh, over here, I used the saplings to represent forestry. Uh, the furnace to represent build craft, industrial craft. Uh, this is just going to be miscellaneous junk. Uh, this here is going to be the rail stuff. Speaking of which, we need to get started on that. Uh, let's see. This is tool going to be tools and weapons and probably armor. This is going to be fuels. Uh, mob drops, of course. Uh, I'll probably put a different spot for wool. And, and then the specialty blocks or building blocks. Uh, you know, all the stuff that doesn't fit in to the rest of this for building blocks. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be strictly wood, like planks and logs and saplings and blah, 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 or if I'm also going to have wooden items in here. I probably won't because I got enough uh, storage for everything else. Uh, haven't moved, got into the Thomcraft stuff. Was having a problem with some stuff spawning back here, so I threw up a wall just for now. We're going to have to upgrade uh, upgrade the power plant up there. We're going to make some solar cells to go up there. Because uh, this, just this, it's not keeping up with. But we're not going to be running off just off of that for very long. Uh, matter of fact, that will probably be a temporary solution. Because I want to get into geothermal power. But all... But I got my machines that are going to be here. Uh, bed will be up in my house. The Thomcraft stuff. We're like I said, we're going to move that. So and like I said, we're going to do half slabs. I'm just still trying to. Fit. I mean, I'm pretty sure I want this to be this. Uh, the yeah. Why can I never remember this stuff's name? The marble brick. I know the walls I want to be marble brick like this. I continue this theme all the way down. But I, but the floors and the ceilings, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna have to be doing. I'll probably be doing some testing off camera, just to see what I like. But as far as this goes, I decided since there isn't many options for making different. Uh, things I mean I can make the smooth stone ones like you see here wood or uh, uh, red brick and since those are my only options I went with the smooth stone one and I'm gonna use ah dang it gotta watch them hit boxes I decided to go with uh, these bricks here the stone brick go like so and put that back need one of these one of these what else did I have in there I know I had three things oh smooth stone okay and then we're gonna go like this nope and I love this drill I'm telling you well, I decided what I'm going to do is all my basic mining uh, is going to be done with this drill. And then once I get into enchanting, which I carry, I try and carry a pick and a shovel on me just in case I run out of juice. Anyways, but I want to definitely be starting to carry, uh, once I start enchanting, carry a pick on, a couple of picks on me. I know for sure I want to try and get a fortune pick. Or, yeah, well, I want a fortune pick because I want a fortune room. But I want to get a fortune pick and a, uh, uh, oh, what's it called? Mm, brain not working. Let's see. It's right on the tip of my tongue. I hate when that happens. Oh, well. You just 
get to thinking about something too hard and it just slips your mind completely, that is, it's the curse of getting old. Yes, I like that. Now I got some, I don't have very much smooth stone on me right now. Silk touch, that's it. I knew something would trigger my memory. Speaking of smooth stone, I was thinking, oh, I wish I had a silk touch pitch right uh, silk touch pick right now and I thought of it or even uh, what was that acts of the uh, or yeah that one really cool uh, uh, pick that we had for very shortly on oh yeah you guys didn't even get to see that because oh. that was in the the non audio footage go like this yes this is coming together very nicely that's sort of another reason why I made this three wide see I was originally gonna make it just the one wide wall and I thought no because I'm gonna want to do something different in here than I want to do in here then I'm gonna want to if I run have to run pipes I'm gonna need at least a space so yeah I thought ahead uh, let's see How's my spoonstone doing? Good, good. Get us another stack of this stuff, and that should give us quite a bit. Probably not enough to finish this room, because this is just going to be the walls, guys. I'm not sure. Oh, the ceiling. Yeah, you'll see. I'm not going to spoil that yet, because I'm not ready for it. Although... The more astute among you may, may even start to get into my mindset with the where I'm going with gonna go with that. Uh, let's see, and that top one there won't really matter, so we'll just put uh, cobblestone back in there. Now, I'm not sure if the length of this room is going to st stay the same. So, I might have to be expanding later. I have no idea what's that way, but for now, we'll probably just brick it up. And then we can expand on as needed. You know, and that's going to be a really plain wall compared to how this looks. Hmm. See, this is my building process. I start building, and then I think something like that, this is going to be a plain wall. And I have to decide what I want to do. Like, originally, these things were going to, I was going to stick them on top of the chest, but then it didn't quite look right. So they moved back one, and then I was like, no, I want lighting above them. And so they moved back one more, and I've got the torches behind there. I thought about going with glowstone, but I think the torches are a good light source. You can't see them, but they give off plenty of light. And I don't think lighting is going to really be an issue in here when I'm done. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah, this, and this thing makes mining so much faster. It's like having a really good efficiency pick. I don't think I needed to go back that far. Um, yeah, I didn't need to go back that far. Don't even really need to use that one. So, yeah, let's take that back since these are short supply right now. And that'll probably be visible, so let's see. Let's get this going. that there 
and this I'm going to use sparingly. One, it lags. Two, uh, it's really good. But see how there's doubles here? Yeah, that uses a different type of bronze. And there's, it, it's been giving me extra stuff that I didn't want. So I'm going to not use it for anything that requires like the other stuff. Probably not going to use it for much build craft unless I pre or much of any of these kind of things unless I pre make it up. But this is going to be faux pas after a while, anyways. This is just early day stuff. Let's see. I know I'm going to want this like this. Oh, you're getting annoying. Let's see. Like so. Like so. Uh, no, I didn't want you there. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I do all wanna. Yeah, I think I'm going to do like I did with these and inset my general crafting stuff. Oop. I forgot I had that set up to make. Uh, yeah. Let's get rid of some of this cobble. All right. Had that set up to make bread. So, let's see. Let's take and put... No. Take and put the annoyingly loud thing. Wait a minute. I was going to say, I thought I had this set up to where that thing was the center of the room. I just don't have the sides right. I went too far. So, this is like so. That's what the problem was. Hmm. like so and like so and then we take and put some torches along the back and go like this no not like that like this yes alrighty like I said you're not we're not gonna see this part up here so just ignore that nor are we gonna see this actual ceiling this is just space for uh what's to come stop that uh let's see of course then again if uh, you're not really gonna probably see any of this either this like this like that like this and like that and there we go yes yes see cuz the actual ceiling technically I guess it's gonna be right here but you're gonna be able to see this brick that up there, you're not. Matter of fact, why do I have those there? You are not needed there. Come down. There we go. Thank you very much. All right, yeah. And then, uh, since this is also sort of a, a, a workroom, I will probably have the chest that I dump everything in for my logistics in um hmm 
don't think I want to have it in here because it's a one solely singular thing. I'm thinking in here somewhere. But we'll figure that out. And we're not ready for the logistic stuff. We we might be getting close. Uh, maybe start the system, but nothing to where it's going to be doing much. Because, I mean, just a, something that'll basically uh, just a sorting system for now. Nothing that'll go off into other places yet. Take a drink of the Mountain Dew. And let's see. We need to get start also get started on the wireless redstoning stuff. Uh, we're going to need a build craft room. This is just going to be industrial craft. I thought about doing it because the, well, the build craft, the engine room, uh, I may do something up here on the second story. Uh, may expand this to just be a power generation room or make it well make it bigger not just this little boop here now we'll make it bigger we'll do a whole nice little power generation area and that'll be supplying it and I mean I'll do uh, mainly for you know I mean, this this looks not is gonna look nice and all. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a uh, because things like that keep happening. That skeleton over there, yeah. I'll come up here to check on something and they're just invading me. Like the other earlier, I had two creepers just standing there at waiting for me. I opened up this one time. I opened up this door and there was three skeletons over here. So we're gonna build a wall around this too. It's gonna have to be. Whoop, I didn't want to go in the water. I want to jump up there. All right. It's going to have to be at least one block away. Let's see. Because this thing sucks from this block, this block, this block, that block, that block, that block, and that block. Sort of like the outs the inside of a craft. Or, I mean, yeah. You know. Uh, enchanting thing between the bookshelves. So, the wall will have to be at least there. Which will be nice because, uh, like I said, I also want to do some... Uh, uh, do a small solar array up, up here as well. So that'll be cool. Uh, hmm, damn you, skeleton. Yeah, and this was a pain in the butt. Took me a while to figure out that they weren't just sending power all the way down to that bo bat box. So, like I said, I had to build a second bat box. And we'll pretty this up to make a, uh, some sort of actual entrance I didn't want this just to be a one thick wall so here's my fleshed out idea I mean I was just I did this so I could get an idea of what it would look like from there and all that and then this is gonna be also the wall uh, I'm not sure if the entrance to that I'll probably clean up all this uh, yeah, I definitely will clean up all this cuz I'm gonna pretty all this up I'm not sure if it's going to go up there, right up here, or if I'm going to have a different entrance, maybe coming off another direction. But, yeah, I decided to go like this, have it snake over a little bit. And like I said, uh, the basic foam craft room is going to be back here a bit. Uh, I might go off someplace away from my main base and build another little cave and connect it with either portals, rails, or foam craft portals. But we'll get to that. Like I said, I I just starting to get ideas for what to do. Uh, speaking of ideas, uh, uh, random Ricky. Yes, I know his name is uh, Ricky and Dom, but uh, I decided to call him ran random Ricky that one video, and it's just stuck. So we're gonna. Uh, he was he's mentioned in a comment that I should build the Willy Wonka chocolate factory. And yes, that would be cool, but unfortunately, we cannot make any chocolate. We have cocoa, but I'll see about maybe getting a mod that'll let me make chocolate just so I can make the chocolate factory. But I, let's see, I need to get, let's see, did we get, no, we got that going. Uh, I think I'm going to cut it here and figure out what exactly I want to do next. 
I mean, I'm nowhere near done with this, any of this stuff, but when, in the early days, I just sort of, well, I'm always scattering it around, getting this figured out, but I'm going to need more resources to actually do this, do these builds, because I don't have much of this, see, because I, and then, so I, I've been collecting a bit of the basalt and cooking it up and marble, but I know these few stacks of this stuff is not not going to be nowhere near enough to even do these walls and then I still have to decide on how I want to do this room as well like that's not going to be here and I will since we're going to be doing geothermal generators uh, I figured up there I'll put up in the power generating room I may put the, uh, yeah, I'll put the geothermal generators up in the power generating room. But this wall here, I'm, I decided I'm not going to use the Thaumcraft thing, or not the Thaumcraft, but the uh, equivalent exchange thing that makes lava. So I'm going to pump lava around, uh, and you can start to figure out what I'm going to be doing here. And we're going to need some place to store all this lava while before it gets processed. So I'm going to put uh, lava storage tanks here on this wall. And I thought that might look cool. And it might even give off a little light. So that might help with the lighting situation. Because I don't want to have torches. I don't want any of this place lit with torches. I want it to be all natural lighting. And I've found... I mean, this here being torches is cool because you can't see it. I mean, that's cool. And this probably won't be lit at all because it'll probably be something there and there. I don't know. Well, it might be because uh, I'm going to need a place for my requester pipe. So that'll probably go on one side. And then I might do something else on the other. Like I said, you're getting a little insight into my building processes. This is what I do a lot. I'll sit here and I'll just walk around my base and try and figure out how everything will flow together and how I want you know how I want it to look I mean I'm always oh, and it's really bad whenever I'm more building on a freestanding structure anybody who's ever played on a multi server multiplayer server with me will know that I'll just sit there and walk around in circles around the freestand like a house or something to get all the angles make sure it looks good see what I can improve on uh, we're also going to be doing a portal room uh, and it, everything's not going to be centralized down here but I figured this is a good place to start the centralization for like some of the stuff that I'm going to use a lot and travel be back and forth between uh, up here like I said I'm going to put a house up uh, pretty much where I've got my farm and stuff up here maybe even partially covering this maybe have this be inside the house or uh come out underneath the house or something like the house up here and over that direction and then i also thought uh we can expand off that way if needed for different things uh since i have the the latest version of red power we can put our portal anywhere and not have to worry about hearing it annoyingly all the time because there's an interesting little device that will uh it's i think it's the igniter it will you can use it can now be used to ignite your portal or disengage your portal so that'll be cool but yeah we'll figure out where we want the portal room i don't know uh exactly i'm trying to avoid the area underneath uh that uh monolith thing you'll see here once we get going in thomcraft but i'm going to go ahead and cut it here guys because i think i've rambled on enough and uh get some more resources going maybe go maybe clear out all this here and start to shape some of this up and figure out what we're doing all right, I was just about up. I was just about to uh, go and explore there. Yeah, I was about to go and explore. I'm sitting here gathering up 
doing some final around the house type things. Uh, exploring will probably be next episode. This is really going to be a wrap up for episode four. Uh, it's running at about 40 minutes right now. Uh, God only knows how long this is going to be. Uh, just happened, uh, hit uh, another subscriber. We've got 17 of you guys now. Very happy. And I'd like to be give a big wel welcome to uh, Garth. He is my newest subscriber, and I'm very happy to have him. Get some flax here. Uh, get this planted. But what I'm going to do here is go over, it's going to sort of be the tail of the tape type thing. I've been doing a lot of off work camera. Today has just been sort of a build stuff up day. And what I was doing was kind of very menial. I mean, I was doing other things and I probably should have uh, did little extra jump shots. But hey, matter of fact, I'll do this later off camera. Because this is running long, it's already, at, like I said, it's already at 40 minutes. But as we come down here, as you can see, I've got the walls done. I still haven't done the floors or the ceilings. You come on down. Started to mock up the last stair here, just to get a feel of how this was going to go. Yeah, I got all this done. Uh, Ricky noticed that there was a J here. And it was a good catch. I didn't even notice it until uh, he seen it, uh, pointed it out in the video. So I had originally taken it down, and just well, this was a straight uh, marble wall here. So I put the J back in. Over here we got the storage slash workroom. Not much has changed. Getting ready for the logistic piping. That's actually where I'm at. That's why I'm need to go to out and explore for resources getting kind of low on iron I mean I got 24 pieces and that's it I think I might have no I don't have any in here I got some diamonds here I made another uh, portal spawner I uh, want to use this as a way to get back in back to my base from exploring so use do, just do another setup like this so that we maybe we can set up a exploration center back that way <laughs> Uh, like I said, yeah, uh, started the, getting the auto crafting set up. I got taught how to do wood, you know, all the basic stuff. Then I got all the gears. Got the diamond gear down here. Probably not going to keep it there for now because I am low on resources. Let's see, what else? Oh, yes, made a staircase up. I'll probably keep these as cobble. I'm not sure. Uh, up here to this is going to be the power generation room. Still haven't put any solar panels up there. Save that for you guys. This comes around and sort of goes into the ravine, which I have plans for the ravine too. I'll show you that. Then on down here. As you can see, I still have it in the rough state. I haven't actually gotten down here. I've got the materials for it. I just haven't gotten this far yet. Down here, we're going to have our uh, mystical room. So far, it's just the Thaumcraft. I'm thinking about maybe brewing and enchanting around here as well. Uh, I had to seal this up because I had a creeper show up on me. Uh, which he traveled down this from a dark spot. Now this isn't going to be the proper way into this over here. Uh, I'm digging a tunnel. I just got to get it connected up to it. I'm going to build a bridge here and I'm going to decorate it because this uh, ravine here is going to be Grand Central Station, sort of. I'm going to have my rail systems all link into here. I hear you. Something's floating around here. Er, but anyways. I'm going to leave that tree. I like that tree. 
But yeah, I'm going to do this out, make this bridge all nice and fancy. Like I said, this will be my main rail hub system. And then right over here, this is going to be the portal room. Get out of here. Get out. Out. Alright, like I said, this is going to be the portal room. It's going to have the nether portal, of course. Uh, there's a few caves off of it. I've got them blocked off for now, except for this one. This is leads out, which let's go ahead and block this up right now. So we don't get nothing coming in on us. Just remember that it's there. It'll be another way out of here. And I'll probably connect all these tunnels out and do something with them. But not only is it going to have this portal here, I'm going to put, uh, yeah, uh, these portals down and link them off to different areas. I know it, it'll be a bit redundant with having a rail system, but I have my reasons. I want both. Uh, I think that these will, these portals will mainly be to get like to bases, well, mid mid range maybe the rail is going to be short to long range and everything in between but yeah that about wraps up this episode episode 4 of the mega man cave let's close this back off just so nothing f decides to follow me I have been doing some research. I need to get some more books or more uh, bookshelves. Let's see, did my cobble give me anything? No, it didn't. But I have been doing some research. I've got these two here, the Dark Infuser, and the Thomic Duplicator. Now, I don't think I can make the animated pistons yet. I'm sure that these are both very cool items. Then I have Brain in a Jar, Difficulty, Torturous. I'm going to wait until I get a, get uh, this filled with books before I start researching that. Uh, I've tried before and it just sits there and does nothing. Uh, Wanda Reversal, also Torturous. And then I've got a few artifacts. I'm going to keep all of my Thalm stuff over here and it's going to be connected into the logistics. Uh, don't know if I don't think that I'm gonna run that uh, tunnel into this room. Oop. And this room is gonna be about that tall, at least. So I gotta clear out all this, and then decide what I'm gonna do this in. But that other tunnel, I was thinking maybe here. Have it all come back and wrap around to here. But yeah, that is it for this episode. Guys, uh, let me know what you think. Any and all comments are welcome and read. If you want to give it a like, hey, that's great too. So until next time, have a great one.